artistically, and in countless other areas, leaving a lasting impression and impact on our school community. Class of 2023, as you prepare to leave the halls of Fremont Ross High School, remember that this is not the end, but the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. Each one of you possess unique talents, talents passion, passion, and dreams dream that will that shape, shape your, your individual, individual journey. journey. Embrace the opportunities that lie ahead, whether it be pursuing higher education, entering the workforce, or serving our nation. As you navigate this new chapter, remember the core values instilled in you from your time here. Foster a love for lifelong learning, for it's through knowledge that we empower ourselves and others. Embrace diversity, inclusivity, for our differences make us stronger and more compassionate. Lead with integrity and kindness, for true success is not measured solely by accomplishments, by the, but by the positive impact that we have on those around us. As you prepare to step into the future, I have complete faith in your abilities to achieve greatness, to lead with integrity, and to make our community, our nation, and our world a better place. In the words of Charles Woodson, who shared this message with another graduating class, build your legend. Congratulations on the remarkable achievement, and may your journey ahead be filled with joy, success, and fulfillment. Always keep smiling, and always be giant. We ask our seniors to share with us their future plans. The students have reported 137 graduates, 56% of our class of 2023, plan to attend a four-year or two-year college or trade school. 96 graduates, or 39% of our class of 2023, plan to enter the workforce. 11 graduates, 5% of the class of 2023, plan to enlist or have already enlisted into the military. This year, our seniors have reported scholarship amounts upon graduation being received as $2,330,660. Let's give them a round of applause for that. Okay, please stand for your, uh, please stand when your name is called and remain standing. The following students have earned certificates through Terra State Community College. Adam Renshu, Certificates for Computer Aided Design and Manufacturing Foundation and General Business. Easton Silva, Certificate for Welding, Manufacturing and Technology. Let's give these gentlemen a nice round of applause. Following students have earned associate's degrees through Terra State Community College. Cameron Alspa, Associate of Science degree and an Associate of Arts degree, graduating cum laude. Aaron Cobble, associate, associate of Science degree and Associate of Arts degree, graduating magna cum laude. Kennedy Caden, receiving an Associate of Science. Let's give these people a round of applause. We also have eight juniors who chose to increase their workload over the past three years to meet or exceed graduation requirements. These students are now graduating with the class of 2023. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Alyssa Dillon. Emmy Kaus. Jaden Martin, Kalia Payton, Lorena Perez, Janaya Price, Hannah Rios, Hadley Rios. Let's give our students a round of applause. Thank you. I would like to now present to you Evan Garcia the senior class president, son of Pete Michelle Garcia, who will share with you the commencement address.
Hello, everyone, and welcome to this year's graduation ceremony. It's an honor to be here with all of you today, celebrating this incredible milestone in our lives. As we look back on our time here, I hope you remember all the hard work, dedication, and perseverance that got you to this moment. We've overcome challenges, faced adversity, and, and accomplished so much. But this is just the beginning. As we move forward, remember that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. You have the power to make a difference in the world. And I can't wait to see all the amazing things we will accomplish. So congratulations to each and every one of you. Take a moment to celebrate this momentous occasion and know that the future is bright. But most importantly, remember that just because we may be little does not mean we can't be giant. Thank you. Speakers, thank you, Evan. This year we have seven seniors who wish to share with you a special, special message. Could you come forward? Our first speaker is Michaela Carroll. Michaela is the daughter of Tiffany Brown, Tommy Carroll, and Adriana Carroll. Michaela's first future plans are to attend Notre Dame College to earn a degree in art studio. Michaela's favorite Ross memory was having the opportunity to learn at both Ross and Vanguard, where she was able to work with individuals with special needs. Ms. Michaela Carroll. Hello, everyone. I'm honored to be here today to give this commencement speech, and I'm thrilled to see so many smiling faces. I'll do my best to make this speech as encouraging as possible, and hopefully you have a few laughs along the way. First off, congratulations. You did it. You've completed years of hard work and dedication, and now it's time to celebrate. And by celebrate, I mean take a well-deserved nap. Now. I know that some of you may be feeling a bit anxious about what comes next, but don't worry. It's okay to feel a little lost. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to be when I grow up. But seriously, the truth is that you don't have to have everything figured out right now. In fact, most people don't. Life is full of surprises, and sometimes the best things happen when you least expect them. So go ahead, take risks, try new things, make mistakes, and if all fails, just blame it on your parents. After all, they did raise you, right? I know some of you may be feeling a bit unsure about what's next. Maybe you have a job lined up, or maybe you're still trying to figure it out. But let me tell you a secret. None of us really know what we're doing. Life is full of twists and turns, and that's what makes it so exciting. Embrace the uncertainty and trust that you'll find your way. And when in doubt, just remember the immortal words of Dory from Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming. Life will throw you curveballs, but if you keep moving forward, you'll eventually reach your destination. But in all seriousness, I want to encourage you to follow your dreams. Find what makes you happy and pursue it with all your heart. And if you can't find it, create it yourself. Remember, success isn't just about achieving your goals. It's also about enjoying the journey along the way. So take time to savor the small moments like delicious baked brownies or even a funny meme. And finally, I want to leave you with one last piece of advice. Don't take life too seriously. Laugh at yourself, laugh with others, and don't forget to find joy in the little things. Congratulations again, class of 2023. You're gonna do great things, and I can't wait to see what you accomplish. And when you do, don't forget to invite me to the party. Thank you. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you, Michaela. Our, Our next class speaker, speaker is Ms. Kayliana Hernandez. Kayliana is the daughter of Desiree Hernandez. Her future plan is to attend Notre Dame College to study exercise science. Kayliana's favorite Ross memory is being a part of the Fremont Ross softball program. May I present Ms. Kayliana Hernandez.
Good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, and the fellow little giants in the graduating class of 2022. In this moment, so with great pride for yourself, for all you have done to sit on these folding chairs here today. We have finally made it. Now on this field, remembering the time four years ago, when we entered the doors of Fremont Ross High School, feeling so many emotions, such as exhilaration, gratitude, and apprehensiveness. 13 years ago, we were thinking that we had such a long time to go till we graduate. And in the blink of an eye, here we are. As we sit here, some of us knowing our goals for what may lie ahead, and some still uncertain of what the future will bring. These last four years have been nothing but crazy, and I mean Kanye crazy. We had to learn with much more responsibility. We had to choose classes for our graduation pathway, start jobs, and build our friend group, which now become a part of our networking system as we move into our future. I know there are plenty of us just wanting to hopefully continue living at home and helping our parents take care of us, but we all know they'll drive us out the house soon. I think being an adult sounded really fun and cool until it came finally time to be an adult. We have come so far and survived through one of the weirdest time periods in our nation's history, the COVID times. We sit here with experiences that many other generations never dreamed of. We laughed, we cried, we learned TikTok dances instead of turning on our cameras for Zoom meetings. And we learned how to convince our parents we were caught up on our schoolwork even though we were behind a week. Now, after having gone through a pandemic with each other, we have forged a bond one that we would take with us no matter where we go from here. I look at high school as a story with different characters, lots of different plot twists, and different chapters. And as we get ready to close this chapter of our lives, tomorrow we will begin a new one. The road that lies ahead after high school will not be easy. There will be challenges and setbacks. However, when you feel like you cannot possibly go on, you can, because we are giants. And as we know, once a little giant, always a little giant. As many of us sit here ready for our future to begin, we are choosing either to go off to college, out to the workforce, or join the military. For those going to college, I wish you the best. May you continue to learn with an open heart and open mind. For those going to the workforce, I wish you great success, and may you become titans in your industry. For those entering the military, thank you for your dedication to our country. Life will be taking us in separate ways, and I hope you remember what Freeman has taught us that Walmart is the only fun and that Doc Hershey is still going to be here asking us to attend parent-teacher conferences for our own kids. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Fremont is our home and will always be our home. You may have graduated, but you're not finished with show and tell. That's what class reunions are for. Congratulations to the class of 2023. We did it. Thank you, Kayliana. Our next class speaker is Mr. Maximo Jimenez Gonzalez. Max is the son of Eduardo and Ramona Jimenez. According to Max, he shares his future plans include Harvard Law School. His favorite Ross memory is the entire sophomore year of baseball. Mr. Maximo Jimenez Gonzalez. Good afternoon, Fremont Ross, class of 2023, and good afternoon to all the family, staff, friends, and fellow students joining us on this special day. What a wonderful day to be here united with all of you, and what an honor to speak in front of all of you. I know you may be wondering if I'm actually attending Harvard. The answer is no, but it sounds pretty cool, don't you think? Today, I want to talk to everyone about the journey of growing up. Growing up is a journey that we all have to go through. It's a journey that involves many challenges and experiences that shape who we are today. Today, I want to talk to you about the journey from elementary school to high school and what I've learned along the way. I remember my first day of elementary school like it was yesterday. I was nervous, excited, and scared all at the same time. I had a backpack that was almost as big as I was, and I wore a new outfit that my mom picked out for me. I didn't know what to expect, but I was ready for whatever was to come. Elementary school was a time of exploration and discovery for me. I learned how to read, write, do basic math, and also learn proper English. I made new friends and explored new hobbies. I remember my first school play, my first science fair, and my first field trip. Everything was new and exciting. The life lesson that I took from elementary school was that in life you have to enjoy the small things like recess, coloring books, and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. 
As I moved on to middle school, I faced new challenges. I had to learn how to manage multiple classes, deal with different teachers, and navigate the social complexities of adolescence. It wasn't always easy, but I learned a lot about myself and the world around me. The life lesson I took from middle school is that it's okay to be uncomfortable because it leaves room for growth. High school was a whole new ball game. I was no longer a child, but a young adult, and the expectations were much higher. I had to choose my classes, my extracurricular activities, and think about my future. It was a time of self-discovery and growth, and time when I had to figure out who I was and what I wanted to become. The life lesson I took from high school was that it's okay to make mistakes. In high school, we are taught to not make errors in order to keep good grades, but in life, I disagree with that. Making mistakes leaves room for growth and improvement. I encourage everyone here to make mistakes and fail instead of being afraid of the, trial, the process of trial and error. Life is all about making mistakes and growing from them. As Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus said, if you want a rainbow, you have to deal with the rain. The biggest lesson that I learned during my journey from elementary school to high school is that life is a journey, not a destination. It's about the experiences that we have along the way and the people that we meet that make the journey worthwhile. It's about the challenges that we overcome and the lessons that we learn that make us stronger and better human beings. So, my dear friends, as you finish your journey from elementary school to high school and embark on the journey of life, remember that it's not about getting to the finish line, but about enjoying the ride. Embrace every experience, every challenge, and every opportunity that comes your way. Most importantly, never stop learning, never stop growing, and never stop being yourself. We will no longer be a little giants at Fremont Ross. We will be a little giants of the world. So classmates, strive for greatness and do not stop until you have achieved what you want. It's better to fail than not to try at all. Failure is just a learning experience. When you believe you have failed, you have only become closer to achieving your goal. Give it your all. Thank you to everyone here supporting my classmates and now on this special day. It's been an honor. And as they say in my culture, adios amigos. Thank you, Mac. Our next speaker is Kyra Jones, Senior Class Vice President. Her parents are Rebecca Henry and Charles Jones. Kyra plans to attend the University of Akron to major in exercise science. Her favorite Ross memory was being a cast member in our high school musical, Hairspray. May I present Miss Kyra Jones. Thirteen years. Approximately 117 months, 3,510 days, and 24,570 hours to get to graduation, a ritual event where they award you a diploma in hopes that you have learned enough to be able to read it. Thank you to the teachers, parents, and staff who have made these 13 years everything that they were. Every one of you has made an impact on the graduates who sit here today. We have shared a lot of great memories as classmates and friends. In elementary, middle, and high school, you've had some of the best teachers who genuinely cared about us and were passionate about what they were teaching. Fellow graduates, I've known you for a while, and I genuinely think the world can be open to you if you put forth your whole heart. One memory that wasn't so great that I think we can all agree on was the pandemic. We've missed out on having typical freshman and sophomore years, which means we haven't had a stable school year until our junior year although we've moved schools during the second half of it. We've had to consistently adapt and overcome the new obstacles that came with learning and living during the pandemic. Online classes were a struggle for some, setting alarms in 10 to 15 minute increments to stay awake and missing classes due to having bad Wi-Fi connection and awkwardly having to unmute your audio were staples of online learning. Despite how many hours we've had to sit on Zoom or how many days we've had to miss school to quarantine, we succeeded, adapted, and still got the job done. I sincerely hope that we will all be able to cherish our connections with our classmates on and off the field, classrooms, and stages for many years to come. All of the lessons we've taken away from school, both inside and outside the classroom, all of the books we've read, late hours spent studying for exams, the essays we've written, and all of the relationships we've begun, ended, and patched up, all of the thrilling and terrible situations we've gone through. Everything has built up to this moment, which we've never thought would come so quickly, the 13th year of school. The world and society might frequently tell you what they think you can and cannot do, and you might feel restricted by these rules and norms. There is nobody but you that can fulfill your goals and dreams the way you want, 
now that you are so close to receiving your high school diploma. You don't have to do anything in life if you don't choose to. However, in saying that, there are endless possibilities available to you for your future. Go in the direction that will make you succeed, whatever that looks like for you. Believe in everyone, including yourself and the people next to you. And if you think that you are too small to be effective in this world, you have never been bit by a mosquito. Thank you, Kyra. Thank you, Kyra. Our next class speaker is senior class treasurer, Ms. Taylor Rupert. Taylor is the daughter of Marie and Marco Ontiveros and Roman Rupert. Her future plans include attending Kent State University to study applied science in nursing. Taylor's favorite Ross memory was playing Kevin G in the high school musical Mean Girls. Ms. Taylor Rupert. We all wanted school to be over until that one day comes where we're in alphabetical order with our purple and white gowns standing by the people we grew up with and went from class to class with. Now it's real. This went a lot faster than our parents said it would. I'm not sure about any of you. The last few months have been the fastest months of my life between last minute assignments, scholarship deadlines, and flat out just trying to figure out what I wanna do with my life. All the emotions are flying around that you can't tell the difference between excitement and grief. Excitement, that we are now onto the next chapter of our lives, but grief, because we may never see some of our classmates again. I know no one wants to say it, but we've all been thinking of our last. Our last sports game, our last assignment, last drill, or last time passing the history teacher with the biggest smile on his face. LaFountain, I'm talking about you. Scared but excited for a future occupation, future education, or future bravely serving our country. I don't know about you, but I am more ecstatic than scared to enter this new chapter in my life. Here we are, 13 years and many, many English papers later. Speaking of 13 years, that is a lot of time. 2,340 days of school to be exact. During those many years, we have learned and changed so much. From the elementary years when we played tag on the playground, colored in coloring books, watched Disney movies, and wanted to grow up. Then came middle school. The stress of the first few real assignments, studying for tests, meaning boys, and wanting to go to high school. Finally, high school. Trying to find our true self, preparing for our future, and trying to enjoy every moment. Now what? Now we can't wait to graduate. Today is that day. Standing here today, I am extremely proud of the class of 2023. We made it. To celebrate us, to celebrate all we've accomplished in these 13 years. Now we move on to the second chapter of not only lives, but careers. None of us did this alone. So today, if you are able, take the time to tell your family, friends, teachers, and fellow classmates, thank you. Thank you for pushing us, believing in us, and being there for us. But we also need to give a little thanks to ourselves. Every single one of you today work for that diploma. All those late nights and 7 a.m. alarms are all worth it. Today, we all accomplished a big milestone in our lives, high school graduation. One last thing before I conclude this speech. I may never see some of you again, but I'm very proud of all of you accomplished. We are all a family. Once a little giant, always a little giant. But today really isn't the end, it's just the beginning. As the once great Colossator Drake once said, we started from the bottom, now we're here. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Our next class speaker is Ms. Ava Smith. Ava is the daughter of Ryan and Andrea Smith. Her future plans include attending Heidelberg University to major in primary education. Ava's favorite Ross memory was playing Regina George in the high school musical, Mean Girls. May I present Miss Ava Smith. We say, when you don't know how to do something, Google it. How to write a graduation speech. Step one, introduce yourself. As, as said, my name is Ava Smith, daughter of Ryan and Andrea Smith, and almost a graduate of Fremont Ross High School. 
Step two, recall the good times. Throughout the last four years and 1,377 days, we've enjoyed pep rallies, football games, school dances, a beautiful new high school, and countless classes together. And throughout it all, I have watched the class of 20 become the people that you are today. Step three, share a motivational quote. The true American icon, Brian Gosling, once said, I've learned it's important not to limit yourself. You can do whatever you really love to do, no matter what it is. Step four, share some good advice. I am in no position to stand up here and claim to give the perfect plan to tackle what lies ahead. I have no idea. I can't tell you what I've learned in high school though. Googling the question and putting Quizlet behind it will get you the answer to most test questions. If you walk around the halls like you know where you're going, you won't be asked about a hall pass. I've learned how to write a research paper in half an hour, make a 10 slide presentation in 20 minutes, and copy down math homework in the four minutes between classes. But most importantly, I've learned there is no such thing as perfect. There is no one way. Each of us have taken very different paths, but here we all are together at graduation. Normal is a lie and perfect is fake. Try as you might, but at one point, everyone will struggle, make mistakes, and inevitably fail. But I encourage you, rather beg, keep fighting, keep working, and bounce back from anything life throws at you. In the wise words of Janice Sarkeesian from Mean Girls, sometimes what's meant to break you makes you brave. Step five, thank everyone. Faculty, family, and friends, and my fellow graduates, thank you. Thank you to the Fremont Ross staff that have given us this high school experience and set us up to grow into who we are and who we can become. Thank you to the family and friends of each and every student who gave the support and encouragement to get through these four crazy years. And thank you to my fellow graduates. I am honored to be part of such a big group of outstanding people. Though we may not have all been a big part of each other's lives, getting to know those of you that I did has been the best part of high school. Step six, make it personal. I have spent all of high school trying to figure out who I am and who I want to become. My parents have never failed to remind me that I can be whatever and whomever I want to be. My mother especially has supported me and guided me. She is my rock and my North Star. And I could think of no better accomplishment than loving my children the way she has loved my brothers and I. And somewhere along the way, I realized all I ever want to be is just as loving, steadfast, faithful, strong, and exactly like my mother. Step seven, create a call to action. As you all go forward with your lives, never stop striving. Be better than you were yesterday and reach for an even better version of yourself for tomorrow. The potential for your life is limitless and the list of possibilities is endless. You're all stars. And I have no doubt in my mind that you will all go out and achieve the impossible. I am honored to be part of the Fremont Ross High School graduating class of 2023 and congratulate you all on the first of many major accomplishments that you will achieve in your lifetime. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you, Ava. Our final senior speaker is Kaylee Wagner. Kaylee is the daughter of Peter and Jennifer Wagner. She plans to attend Ferris State University to major in welding engineering. Kaylee's favorite Ross memory is conducting the alma mater at the homecoming game this past October. May I present Ms. Kaylee Wagner. Good afternoon, family, friends, teachers, faculty, and most importantly, the class of 2023. First, I'm sure you're all tired of hearing speeches by now, but hang in there, mine's the last one. I guess that's what happens when your last name starts with W. To my fellow graduates, we finally made it. After many years of hard work and effort, we are finally at the end of this path. We have all spent the past 13 years of our lives in a classroom. We've made memories that we'll never forget and have learned so much. 13 years spent waiting, waiting for the bell to ring each day, waiting for days off and holiday breaks, waiting for summer for the next school year, counting down the days to something each of those 13 years. And finally, perhaps the biggest waiting game of our education, waiting to make it to this very day, our high school graduation. Good news is, we're finally here. The big waiting game is over. 
No more counting down the years, to the months, to the days, and for some, the hours, until we each walk across this stage in our 13-year journey all together as the Fremont Ross class of 2023 comes to an end. We have all been through a lot together, and the past four years of high school have especially been a journey. Our freshman year, right as we were finally getting a good feel for high school, we were put on a two-week break. I use the term two weeks pretty loosely, though. As everyone knows, two weeks turned into the last few months of our first year in high school. We had all hoped that by the beginning of our sophomore year, we would go back to how they were. Sadly, they didn't. That year, we spent the whole time in masks and half the year in a hybrid schedule, separating us from our friends and peers while also making learning a little more difficult. By junior year, things were pretty normal. We spent a few weeks in masks, and by the end of the year, we were back into a good group. Now going into senior year, I will say, I was a little nervous. I was scared something crazy would happen, just as it had freshman year, and we wouldn't get the chance to have a full normal year of high school. Standing here today in front of all of you, I am happy to report that we did in fact get our normal year of high school, finally. I don't know about anyone else, but I am so thankful for that. Looking ahead, we will all go our separate ways following graduation. Some of us will be attending college, others in the military, and others going straight into the workforce. This means we will all have new things to wait on. The start of college, college graduation, moving out, being deployed, getting a promotion, buying a house, getting married, or whatever other goals we may have set for our future. Although separate, we will all do amazing things out in the real world. One last thing that goes along with graduation is the fact some of us will never see each other again. Even with this, we will always have 13 years of memories together to look back on. From the first day of kindergarten to the last day of senior year, every day brought something new. We have spent so much time with each other, our close friends, and our educators these past years, and it is definitely bittersweet seeing it all come to an end. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. So as we all leave here today, start on and find something new to wait on, I want us to look back on our cherished memories and never forget the times we have spent together as the class of 2023. Go out and continue to do great things just as we have the past 13 years. Congratulations, class of 2023. The wait for graduation is over. We finally made it. And for one last quote of encouragement in the words of Cody Johnson, if you got a dream, chase it, because the dream won't chase you back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, class of 2023 street speakers. At time, it is my pleasure to introduce the Roth High School Concert Julia Zucker. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Our next speaker is a graduate of Bluffton University and the University of Finley. He is completely in education. 21 of those years have been with Fremont City Schools, and he is completing his sixth year as superintendent. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. John Detweiler. Seniors, have you found them? Can you point to them? All right. How about up here? Here's the test. All right, knock it off, knock it off. If you change the diaper of someone on this field, raise your hand for us. That's a lot of diapers. A lot of diapers. So what's my point? It's not really diapers, I promise. Someone in that stand sacrificed for you. You are here because of what they've done. Those nights, it started when you were a baby and forgot what day was and night was. And probably sleepless nights when you went to prom this year. There's probably been some money involved. You may have cost a little bit. Probably more than would even like to add up. But most importantly, there's been time, hasn't there? They sat in the rain and watched your track meet or your soccer game. They took you to practice. They came to your concerts, even if you were a squeaky seventh grade clarinet. So sometime today, as our other speakers have said, look someone up there in the eye and thank them. It's important to thank them. You know, I've sat in that seat as a parent. My own little giants marched across this field not too long ago. It's one of the most fulfilling moments of my life. And how will you pay them back? By being successful. They have poured their lives in you. And now the way you can pay them back is to be successful. My advice is to find a way to serve someone and serve others. The greatest factor that you will find in this life is when it's not about you. Now, be your best, of course. You're going to get really good at something in the next few years. This part of your life is actually about being really good at something. But as you do that, and as you have success, don't forget to give back. So my advice, and quickly I will close, invest in someone. And the way they trained up a child, maybe someday you will train up a child. And maybe change a diaper. In 1896, I got a book here, it's 127 years old. It's the Rules and Regulations of the Board of Education of Fremont City Schools. And Dr. Martin Stom, I'm going to read something he said. You recognize that name, Dr. Martin Stom? The building was right there, wasn't it? In 1897, he said, It may be assumed that our graduates of our high school enter life well prepared for the manifold duties which are required of them. 2023 graduates, you are well prepared, and we're proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if all veterans in our stands and in attendance could please stand, we would appreciate that. On behalf of Fremont Ross High School and Fremont City Schools, we would like to thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. At this time, we would like to now introduce to you our future veteran. Please stand when your name is called and remain standing. Sydney Aber, Army. Peyton Diamond, Air Force. Lorenzo Luke, Army. Cadence Martinez, Air Force. Bryn McDonald, Navy. Naomi Medina Casanova, Army. Michael Patterson, Air Force. Nehemiah Pena, Marine. 
Angelina Rodriguez, Air Force. Gage Ross, Air Force. Logan Weisenauer, Marine. And Adam Renshu, Air Force Academy appointment. Let's give them all a round of applause. Thank you, you may be seated. Parents and family members, we know that each of you has helped your student in the educational process and journey that they have taken to reach this important moment in time. Each of you is eagerly awaiting the announcement of your graduate's name. Feel free to celebrate this accomplishment, but honor the moment by allowing each graduate's name to be heard when read. Mr. Detweiler, Board President Mr. Price, and members of the Fremont City School Board, I certify to you that each member of the senior class has met all requirements as set forth by Fremont City Schools. I would like to present them for acceptance as graduates of Fremont Ross High School. Evan Garcia. Kyra Jones. Jackson Smith. Taylor Rupert. Sydney Aberg. Jillian Alflin, Cameron Ospop, Paulina Andres, Amaria Altman, Ashley Baker, Kylie Berrickman, Megan Power, Lily Benton, Alyssa Barry Garza, Angelina Bigelow. Alexandria Bishop, Aubriana Boley, Lily Booney, Brianna Boscovich, Ariana Brown. Logan Bakey, Brian Balmer, Kaiman Bell, Aiden Carter, Isaiah Castillo. Antonio Castro, the Avian Collins, Henry Colvin, Zachary Decker, Dominic Dodson. Mason Dernwald, Mason Dernwald. 
Peyton Diamond. Gabriel Elder. Braden Eastup. Ty Ferguson. Andre Freeman Jr. Andrew Gama Ramirez. Michael Gamble. Adrian Garcia. Samuel Garcia. Alexis Burmeister. Michaela Carroll. Gabriella Chihuahua. Arlesia Cobbins. Harris Cooks. Nalia Cotto. Aubriana Curtis. Alyssa Dag. Viola Darden. Jaden Dart. Megan Dar. New Bay Crystal De Jesus. Aliyah Diaz. Alyssa Dillon. Aubrey Durbin. Karina Arape. Jolina Flores. Rakasia Gadsden. Mia Garcia. Gabriela Garza. Jacob Garner. Davion Garza Lee. Evan Gerwin. Preston Green. Connor Growl. Braden Goon. Bryson Hammer. Trenton Harkness. Jabari Heidelberg. Alexander Heinlein. Caden Holmes. Jace Hoppus. Elijah Hopple. Zachary Hutz. Jack House Lanto. Ricky Howard III.
Adam Herenchu. Aiden Huber. Israel Guzman. Mariana Garza. Lillian Gibbs. Manuela Gomez Osario. McKenna Ganya. Melissa Gonzalez. Denise Gonzalez Madrid. Jenna Gooslin. Kayla Gore. Emma Gross. Emma Hall. Jalea Harmon. Haley Held. Haley Henderson. Katrina Henry. Eliana Hernandez. Laura Hernandez. Jalen Hill. Janaya Holmes. Aya Jones. Journey Jones. Alan Johns. Michael Jameson. Maximo Jimenez Gonzalez. Elandre Jones. Elijah Kirksey. Jacob Krebs. Nicholas Lane. Ashton Lehman. Benjamin Lindenberger. Braxton Linder. Cesar Lopez. Julian Lopez. Lorenzo Lutz. John Mapis. Jaden Martin. Enrique Martinez. Israel Martinez. Victor Martinez Alonzo Jr. Tyshawn McDonald Jr. Aaron McNutt.
Trinity Jones. Aaron Cobble. Kennedy Caden. Kendall Kidwell. Jaira Kiefer. Summer Kiefer. Blair Couts. Emmy Couts. Marissa Long. Chikara Lopez. Aurora Loretti. Amaya McGee. Caitlin Martin. Cadence Martinez. Anaya McLean. Bryn McDonald. Naomi Medina Casanova. Macy Merrill. Haley Meyer. Holly Mong. Alejandro Melkor. Mason Miller. Jace Mitchell. Cole Meisen. Israel Molina. Carmelo Morissetti. Frankie Navarro. Brian Neal. Corbin Knopf. Max Ortiz. Zachary Otney. Julius Pash. Carter Payne. Nehemiah Pena. Chase Perez. Jose Perez. Christian Retta. Jack Reddick. Carter Rodriguez. Gage Ross. Cameron Moore. Callie Marino. Micaiah Morissetti. Alyssa Nagy. Jordan Nesbitt. Adrian Nye. Kyla Olds. Tesla Alum. Lillian Osborne. Kalia, Kalia Payton. Payton. Roslyn Payton. Payton. Lorena, Lorena Perez. Perez. <laughs> Madison Poulter. <laughs> Lena, Lena Poole. Poole. Ainsley, Ainsley Potter. Potter. Janiah Price. 
Zaria Fuente. Kennedy Rich. Adley Rios. Hannah Rios. Michael Patterson. Julian Sabiers. Hayden Shade. Connor Shadwell. Bakari Scott. Jure Scott. Aaron Sewell the third. Hunter Showman. Jeremiah Sidney. Easton Silva. Joshua Slater. Lucas, Lucas Studd. Studd. Will, Will Studd. Studd. Ethan, Ethan Taylor. Taylor. Tyrese, Tyrese Taylor. Taylor. Elliot, Elliot Thomas. Thomas. Daniel, Daniel Torres Martin. Martin. Joel Urbina. Anthony Fan. Angelina Rodriguez. Ella, Ella Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Abby, Abby Rogers. Rogers. Trina, Trina Sam. Sam. Camry Sanchez. Sanchez. Ariana, Ariana Scott. Scott. Georgiana, Georgiana Shanahan. Shanahan. Reese Shanahan. Shanahan. Ava, Ava Smith. Smith. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Smith. Smith. Haley, Haley Smith. Smith. Kenzie Smith. Smith. Trinity, Trinity Smith. Smith. Jade, Jade Spencer. Spencer. Brianna, Brianna Stein. Tessa, Tessa Stites. Stites. Laney, Laney Tullis. Tullis. Kirsten, Kirsten Twist. Twist. Ida, Ida Vasquez, Vasquez Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Haley, Haley Wagner. Wagner. Mason, Mason Villarreal. Villarreal. Lucas, Lucas Wagner. Wagner. Aiden, Aiden Wagner. Wagner. Logan, Logan Weisenauer. Weisenauer. Connor, Connor White. White. Joshua, Joshua Wilbur. Wilbur. Dalen Wiley. Wiley. Connor, 
Connor, Connor Willer. Willer. <laughs> Levi, Levi Wonderly. Wonderly. Caden, Caden Wood. Wood. Dylan, Dylan Woodward. Woodward. Dylan, Dylan Wright. Wright. Zane, Zane Sender. Sender. Aiden, Aiden Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Maya, Maya Walker. Walker. Gabriella Wamas. Alexis, Alexis Weston. Weston. Gabrielle, Gabrielle Wearsma. Wearsma. Scout, Scout Wolf. Wolf. Macy, Macy Wolverton. Wolverton. Riley, Riley Yowzy. Kaylee Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Aaron, Aaron Kai Gulaw. At this, At this time, time we, ask we ask that everyone, everyone please stand, stand and join the band, the band and, choir and choir in singing and playing the Fremont Ross Alma Mater. Everyone, please sit, but I request that the class of 2023 please remain standing. As, as your class president, Evan Garcia, would like to lead you in the turning of the tassel ceremony in recognition of the progression from one state in your lives to the next, and as an indication of your accomplishment of graduation, please join Evan in this momentous occasion.
class of 2023, you are now officially graduates of Fremont Ross High School. As you proudly join the ranks of Little Giant alumni, you are entitled to all rights and privileges of a graduate of the Fremont City Schools. Together, may you go forth as alumni, demonstrating your love together and your character values. Congratulations and be giants.